Hey, Ming Tsai here. I'm gonna show you how to use this parchment paper to cook en papillote. Super easy, something I learned in France many years ago. Uh, and by the way, you can also use foil. It's a super quick, healthy way, because you don't really need to use much fat at all to cook. And uh, easy as one, two, three. So I'm taking a piece of parchment paper, just making it squared off, because you really don't need to have the whole piece. Anything you want to put in can work. Here we happen to have some quinoa, which is left over. I like putting starch down first. Couscous works, rice works, even noodles could work. But something obviously pre-cooked, because this stuff is not gonna cook on papillote. It's the protein you try to cook with the steam, because it actually steams itself. Some sauteed uh, carrots and fennel. Again, it could be anything. It could actually be raw tomatoes. Uh, you can even put spinach mescaline, something like that. The reason the veg should be sauteed, if it's a hard veg like carrots and fennel, it won't cook all the way on papillote, all right? Then, in this case, we're doing fish. Here's a beautiful piece of halibut. So, like all cooking you've seen, you have to season it. There's no, no shortcut on that. So we'll put that down on top. And it's a presentation of on papillote. I think is just spectacular because people see it. When you open it up, the steam comes up. Here's a little just extra virgin olive oil. So about a tablespoon. We have some Thai basil leaves. Sweet basil, cilantro, parsley, any of those can work as well. It just makes it look pretty, but it also imparts a good amount of flavor. All right, just lay it like that. Then you have to wrap it. So the way you do that is you actually fold it in half. All right, so show you. Then, this is key. It has to be airtight. So you have the little folds and you got to go around, almost like you're doing pastry. And the reason you have to make these little folds is this will guarantee it stays airtight. And sometimes people think this is kind of a pain, which is why foil is used, because it's a lot easier to do. Every half an inch, right? You fold it, all right? So here, what do you do? When you get to the end, you keep folding it. You fold it. Again, it gets harder and harder, right? Because it gets thicker and thicker. But you got to make sure you get those good folds. And then when you get to the very end, you fold it one more time, and then you tuck it down like that. All right? That's on pop you up. So then this goes into an oven. I like a good hot oven, like 400 degrees, for how about about 10 minutes. And check out what happens. Look at this, baby. After 10 minutes, look how beautifully puffed up this is. So you can imagine if you had a restaurant or or at your home, you present this, you can put this on a plate. It's like, wow. It goes down like that. You can take scissors right before you present it. You see how it deflated? It deflated because I took it off of the hot sheet tray. But look at this. You open this up and you get this. See all that steam? This beautiful, and serve it. Serve it in the parchment paper. There's no reason to not serve it like that. And if you like, just a little bit, of lemon zest, just a couple pieces like that, just to freshen it up. And then, because you have the lemon, take a little juice. There you go. Cooking on papillote, a fantastic way to cook. Simply Ming is brought to you by Ocean Spray, Breville, Subaru of New England, Tfall. Wanja Shah, Melissa's World Variety Produce, and Cape Cod Potato Chips. Watch Simply Ming on your public television station.